do 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 la 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 dropping my glue sticks dropping my glue i'm dropping my glue Live. are we live mm -hmm. i don't see a live chat oh i stand corrected oh that's a did not turn off my volume okay no bowie all right we are live here we go. What's up, Fabs and Besties? You are watching YouTube Live with Toya and Bella. This week I'm trying out something new. I used an Instagram filter that showed me with a nose ring that was like a hoop. And I thought it was kind of cool, so I'm trying it out in real life. It's not a real one to clip on or whatever, cuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anyway, it feels really weird. And we'll see how long I last with this in. This week we are doing a very, very simple craft. We're just doing a step and repeat for our dolls because tomorrow, which is Saturday, we are premiering a new episode of Summer and Cali, episode 30. Can you believe it's been 30 episodes? I know, right? You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so it's been 30 episodes and Summer and Nigel have been working on this gala, gala, Thing. And so we thought it'd be really fun to invite all of you out there in the doll community to this event over the weekend. So we have a step and repeat that is available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. I keep looking at my nose. That's why I keep closing my eyes. So he is being really aggressive out there. Do you want to rub that? No, I don't. I don't want to let Bowie in today because I just can't Wait, right why now. Why not? It doesn't matter? No, he's going to throw off my color. My color is perfect. I have a lot going on, and while I was filming Summer and Callie today, he kept stealing doll clothes, and you know, I just, I just can't. Okay. With Bowie right now. He's outside. He's going to scratch a hole in my door. Hopefully, if my son is watching, which he's probably not, um, get Bowie. Actually, text Noah and say, get Bowie away okay. from my door. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, Bowie. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so step and repeat. Super easy craft because I'm not even done filming Summer and Cali and I needed something quick today. So all you got to do is go to our blog, myfrogystuff.blogspot.com, go to the album, you click on the tab that says how to print printables, choose this one, click on that, go to the album that says backdrops, it's also in fun and games, and here is our little step and, re step and repeat printable. I cannot guarantee that it's going to line up accurately <laughs> if you put them multiple ones together because I made this fairly quickly but you know we're trying here and uh, you can glue it onto whatever you want so if you want to glue it onto a poster that works you can glue it into a cereal box you can glue it onto cardboard foam board I'm just gonna go with the side of one of my hidden doll rooms because they're all like white can you see this without it totally destroying my white balance See, the side is like white, and this is our YouTube studio for Mini Toya, which has like the same color scheme. So I thought we could just glue this right on the side and have a step and repeat whenever we want it. Yay! So all we're gonna do is glue that on using a glue stick, pretty easy. And that's what I'm gonna do while we are answering all of your questions today. Okay, so how are you and how was your day? Pam Moore wants to know. Hmm? How are you and how was your day? Oh, I'm all right. I got I got a ja uh, uh, vest, leather vest. I was looking for a leather jacket, but they're all just kind of bulky. And the one that I really wanted didn't have my size because I didn't want an oversized one because I thought it would be too bulky. Um, and the one I wanted, they were only came in extra large. So I just got a vest and it is too cold for this, but I don't care. So it was hey, good. Whatever. And I got a blondie shirt. Whatever makes you happy. And so, I started listening to a new band. So you got stuff and music, and yeah. that makes you happy. Okay. I understand. Uh, why has Noah not come to get Bowie? I texted him. <laughs> My day was pretty good. I would say super fast-paced. Uh, I feel like I've been running all day trying to get this Summer and Cali done. Summer and Cali sneaks up on me every month. I know it's at the end of the month, but for some reason, to, in my brain, I always have like, oh, I got two or three weeks. <laughs> but no, <laughs> time doesn't work like that. <laughs> so I actually didn't even write a script this time. 
I'm winging the whole episode. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I mean, I know now, because I've shot like 200 clips, but I don't know if we're gonna actually get to our point. So I gotta go back and double check that we get to a point of some kind, because I feel like we're all over the place today. Yeah. Shout out to Gabby Whistle. Okay, next question. Favorite person in Encanto. I don't have a favorite person. I, I do, love, Bruno. I love them all. I do, because I've, I've never seen a Disney movie with quite so many amazing characters. There wasn't really like a bad guy, you know? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was just like a situation type of thing. Everybody I was, will say for the longest time I hated the grandmother for, until I like saw her backstory or whatever. But I really did despise her for most of the movie. <laughs> I didn't. I, I thought there ha I mean, after... No, for what she was doing to Mirabelle. And like what she kind of did to the whole family. I yeah, like, but I already saw... I'm really good at predicting movies. And I don't want to give spoilers. But at the very beginning... So I'm probably giving a spoiler. At the very beginning, she they showed you what had happened to her, you know, when she was younger. And I instantly felt sympathetic for that. I don't know why you didn't feel anything after seeing what had happened. I saw what happened, but I was like, <laughs> yeah, well. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know. Bruno is my favorite and yeah. I say and that. I also like Camilo. Okay, yeah. Because he, he was like a, <laughs> did some funny things. A little He's bit of a prankster yeah. sometimes. But I would say that I love all the characters. But I can relate the most Diva to... Diva was favorite? No. No. I didn't like Peppa them. I can't ever answer my questions. She was like... She like, doesn't let me answer. Always messing stuff up with her like rain clouds and stuff. Like, Well, I mean, when the your emotions affect the weather... Yeah, that's like super awful. You gotta be like a Vulcan to keep that under control. She's totally not a Vulcan though. But I'm gonna say I can identify with Louisa. And I think I mentioned this last time. It's just like feeling like you always have the weight of the world on your shoulders and everyone's kind of like counting on you and don't mess up. <laughs> I feel that pressure all the time. All the time. Shout out to Hannah. What's up? Uh, do you use shimmering lights shampoo? No, I don't. I would we use Shea Moisture shampoo. Oh uh, yeah. We use the Shea Moisture with charcoal and tea tree, willow's bark, something like that. I don't know. All I know is Whole Foods discontinued my shampoo. <sighs> yeah. Now I have to like go on Amazon and find it or something. So said, how was your day? I thought we literally just did that. Well, I think it was like more like, how are you? Okay, my day is good. How about you? Oh uh, yeah, I had an A push quiz. Like, you never know what those. You study for it, you read the chapters, you read the notes, and then the quiz is like, what is this? Noah says he got Bowie. Thank you, Noah. Uh, shout out to McKenna. What's up? A push is like shooting in the dark, but. Luckily, the qu the tests are really easy because in AP, like, they curve the tests. Actually, in environmental science, she never curved our tests. And like, that ever. And that bothers you? Yeah. Because, like, basically, you get, like, an, like, so you get, like, a 75. I've had a 75 be curved to a 95 before. Hey, you know what? For all of you out there making the step and repeat, um, I wasn't off too much on lining things up. So, that's a plus. Okay, someone says it will give you purple hues. I don't want purple hues. I, I'm embracing the grays. Full force. Full force. In my personal life, anyway. Like, the grays are here. So I'm accepting it. Uh, I love your eyeshadow and outfit, Bella. Someone said safari. It's not safari, guys. It's not safari. Uh, I would not wear leather in a safari. I'd wear khaki in a safari. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think leather would stick out a little too much in the desert. But yeah, this is more of a My Chemical Romance if anyone knows the, I think, I don't know if you wore a leather jacket or which is super tight, or a leather vest or if it was just a super tight leather jacket, but the main singer was always wearing leather. So Did a pre pretty decent job in lining this is a blondie shirt. 
Question, would you ever sell your stuff on Etsy? I did a long time ago, actually. A long, long time ago when my Fargate stuff first started, I had an Etsy shop and I posted an item every day and I was doing that. It was like 10 years ago, probably about. And then I was like, this is a lot of work <laughs> doing an Etsy shop and having to not disappoint people. I have this whole thing about not wanting to disappoint people. So I get a little self-conscious about putting my stuff out there. Does that make sense? What'd you say? I was listening. I was looking at my face. So anyway, my mom has a, an Etsy shop and she's also kind of quiet lately, but um, she's thinking about starting her Etsy shop open again and she literally crafts right here in my studio and she does things like bedding and pillows and stuff like that. So that might be coming out. It's not me. It's not affiliating with me so much even though it's still called froggy stuff. My mom has her own separate thing and that might be coming back with like bedding and pillows and things of that nature. Okay, uh, can you make a Mario Kart Daisy doll? I am so sorry. I don't even know what that is. So I have to look it up. What's your favorite video game? Favorite video What's game? What's your favorite and least favorite? Favorite video game is Roblox, Star Stable, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I had the chance to buy the real Animal Crossing and then I kind of didn't. Wanna... When, because you have to buy all, the, it's just like Sims. You have to buy all the packs separate. Really? At least that's my interpretation of what I saw on Amazon. Well, I don't think that Nintendo games are like that. I didn't think they were like, well, Just Dance is actually. Isn't Just Dance Nintendo? Uh, yes, Just Dance is Nintendo. Yeah, and like there's this new thing where you have to like pay for some membership or something. So like, if I'm wrong, that? please tell me. But when I was looking on Amazon, it was like, buy this pack, buy this item, this island. And I was like, what? what? I was like, I don't want to do that. You pay 60 bucks for a game and then you have to buy packs on top of it. But actually Sims is like that though. I know. Yeah. Oh man, it doesn't line up incredibly perfect. So it's I spoke. Trash. Well, sorry. Ooh, but I, I spoke too soon. <laughs> My seven feet is all lopsided. Yeah. Favorite episode of Summer and Cali. So I, y'all always ask me questions I cannot answer. So Summer and Cali is one long episode. One long episode. Therefore, I like it in its entirety. I can't pick just one because it's, you know, it's like ongoing. That's just me though. So, so do you play an instrument? Do I play an instrument? Uh, have you? I played violin very poorly in school. I actually got to third chair. I was third chair in uh, middle school. Then I got to high school and I was sixth chair and I dropped it. <laughs> I was like, orchestra is not for me. I don't understand. Like, I hated it. Like, I liked it. The community was cool. Like, the people and all that sort of stuff was neat. And But the songs we played were, were so lame. I could care less about any of those stupid songs. Okay, let's be nice. Oh, well, they were awful. They were but just, like, classical music and, like... <laughs> I want to play Marvel intros. Well, you know? classical music is pretty cool Whatever, too. Man. Bro, Sorry. Okay, maybe like Sugar Plum Fairy and stuff like the like the good stuff, like Four Seasons. But like, I don't care about something I don't know about. Give me like Marvel intros, Harry Potter, Star Wars. Let's actually like band play the coolest songs. They played Incredibles and they would do Star Wars and like why couldn't we done that? Orchestra was so lame in high school. And like people were way too serious about it. And it's like, and then we had a final, like we had finals and orchestra and it was like music theory and she had never te taught it before either. And I was like, no way am I doing this. Plus I actually had to drop orchestra for an AP class. So, uh, gotcha. it all worked out in the end. Shout out to Prunella Bowden. What's up? What are you making? So today we are making a step and repeat. So you just print out the printable and you glue it onto a surface. Bam, you're done. I'm gluing mine onto the side of my YouTube studio for Mini Toya so she can play with her dolls, take photos of them, and then walk around the corner and take photos on this as well. Because all of the sides of our hidden doll rooms are blank, so this seems like a good canvas. Um, so I just got an iPad, iPad Pro and you took for newbie. Um, well, get Procreate, or if you like, Clip Studio is also good, and they have more free brushes. I get all my Procreate brushes, I buy them, I don't use the default ones, or I like customize my own, so like, I wouldn't use the default Procreate brushes. I, at least I hadn't had any luck, I never had any luck with them. Um, yeah, 
or Clip Studio is also nice, but I never figured out how to shade on Clip Studio, so if you can figure that out, props. Because I thought it was like, it seems like super complicated for some reason. And, um, I don't know, use Pinterest, like use references. And the stuff you can get away with on drawing with paper, you cannot get away with drawing on an iPad. Um, so, you know, everything has to be kind of perfect for it to look right. Sounds good to me. Can you make a doll tiny house? So if I was to make a doll tiny house, it would look exactly like the doll apartment because I don't build the outside of the houses. Guess who just got a 100 on their quadrant of class assignment? Congrats. I don't, honestly, I don't know if it ran correctly, but whatever, she gave me 100, so. Congrats. Yeah. So that's my answer. If you would like to see a tiny living space for dolls, we do have the tiny apartment, which would be the same for me because it would all just be in one small space. But if you would like to see a, another apartment, maybe with a different floor plan, yeah. Because you can always decorate the outsides if you like. I just don't because I want everything to look neat. I lived for years in a chaotic doll mess and I refuse to go back. All right. Um, did y'all see? I have no idea what that is. A uh, doll pencil case. Okay, we can give that a try. So, so how many AP classes do you take, Sash have taken? Okay, so last year I dropped, last year is like my most regretted high school year because I dropped, I dropped AP World History to take sports medicine, like a moron. Don't do that, sports medicine sucks unless you like it. But it was awful, it was the most, it was the worst class, it was worse than health. And I hated that class. Oh gosh, so much but, um, <laughs> negativity. <laughs> uh, freshman year I took AP Environmental Science and AP Human Geography, and then I took AP Chemistry, and then I'm taking, and then I'm taking AP Computer Science A, and I'm taking AP Lang and AP um, US History right now. And then next year I'm gonna take AP Gov, AP Econ, AP Lit, AP Bio. So I'll have ten. Happy birthday to Joey! Happy birthday! Uh, do you like Boba Fett or do you like Mandalorian? How about Mandalorian on Boba Fett? Uh, is that a spoiler for those of you out there who haven't watched the latest episode? I'm never gonna watch that. Sorry. But anyway, um, I definitely say I'm more... If I had to pick between Boba Fett and Mandalorian, I'm gonna say Mandalorian. So I'm taking college prep classes. I'm taking AP classes, which like they say they're college prep. Um, I don't really care. They look good on my transcripts, so that's the only reason why I'm taking them. <laughs> I don't really care about the AP test either. Like, like I'm not even gonna. I'm taking AP Computer Science right now, and I'm not even gonna take the AP test because, um, like, and I, when I get to Georgia Tech, when I get to Georgia Tech, because I'll, I'll get in. But I hope so anyway. But um, <laughs> and when if I win and if I go, um. Like, I don't, I want to take their computer science class. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to exempt that. Hopefully, I'll get a good grade on the U.S. history one, so I don't have to take a history class when I get to, get to Georgetown. Hopefully, I do good on the AP Lang, so I don't have to take English there either. Um, I think they only take, like, they take a four or a five. I should get a four. I mean, you know? I don't know. Yeah, I should get a four. <laughs> I'm not taking any, si oh, I am taking a science AP, but I'm not taking a science AP test, so it'll be okay. And yeah, I don't trust my abilities in computer science for an AP test. I'm just really trying to pass the class because there's no teacher. So. Are you, do you like Marvel movies? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the Marvel movies. I feel like the new movies are just like, I think we're so used, we were so used to the like Iron Man, Captain America, like that storyline progressing. Now that it's over, Marvel feels a little discombobulated. I mean, I just, I just, it, there, it's a whole new thing, and it, it's just, you have to get used to it, which I yeah, don't know if I can. Yeah, Metamorph Ulster is still here. Like, I don't know. I loved Iron Man, and I loved Captain America. I oh watched God. Eternals, and I just... Oh my gosh, was that one guy Druid? I don't know, but I wasn't... I literally love him. Like, I wasn't loving Eternals. Whatever. I enjoy... I'm, I'm not finished yet, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, the guy who plays Druid... You have his name? No. You have his name? The guy who, who can control people. I don't remember because... I'm literally in love with him, so... I th that movie was like... <laughs> I don't want to say anything negative. I'm just going to stop here. <laughs> and not to mention, we had Ron St uh, Rob Stark, Jon Snow, and... Something else. Was it it? 
Well, no, the girl's name was literally Cersei, but yeah. Um, yeah, and Cersei. No, but it was the same, whatever, though. Okay? Yeah. We had Rob Stark, Jon Snow, and Cersei. And Cersei and Jon together? What is that? I don't know, but Eternals And Rob Stark and Cersei. That was a crazy love triangle. That would have never worked out in King's Landing. I just, it just wasn't my vibe. So, are these two collect calico critters? I have a whole bunch of calico critters. Still some in boxes. I have not bought anything new lately just because I've been trying to chill on just buying things unless I need it at that moment. Um, but I have a whole, and I would love to set up my Calico Critters things, but I just don't have space. I don't, I'm literally at capacity and I'm very slowly cleaning my downstairs studio. And once it gets clean, hopefully I will be able to display my Calico Critters because I absolutely love them. I love them. They are so detailed. They're so amazing and just so stinking cute, you know? So I said, Bill, I have a feeling you're gonna have a hard time deciding your major. I already know what it is. Um, computer science. So I'm not changing that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. No one's doing that. No, that's not him. No, something different. Um, are you going to do a new toy store? Yeah, sure. Of course. I haven't been getting the mini brands, which is what I plan to use for a toy store. What I was actually going to do, because many people wanted a Target, but then one of my amazing dolly friends built a Target. <laughs> and I don't want to like step on her toes or anything because hers is already amazing. I can't possibly uh, compete with that. I mean, but, you shouldn't think about competing. You should just like do it anyway. Well, I understand that. But what I would like to do is just a different part of Target, you know? And um, you do the Starbucks and Target. I was going to do the or toy like the section. Court. I thought the toy section no, like, was the like... The food court is iconic. You go in Target's for popcorn. It's a whole thing. I was thinking about doing the toy section of Target. And so, um, two birds, one stone there. Horrible saying. But yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing. Since we already have the mini toy mini brands, uh, we could build a Target-like space toy section. Since that's the only part of Target I really go to anyway. Someone said, what job are you thinking about, Bella? I thought, I, I said for a while I wanted to be a UX UI designer, but then I realized that I don't want to do art like at all for a career. So I'm gonna, and I like coding a lot, and there's not nearly enough coding in UX UI, like, no. And then I thought, oh, I wanna do web development, but I'm taking a JavaScript course right now, and like, I had to do, I had to do the tiniest bit of HTML, the tiniest bit, and I hated it. Like, I hated it, and I'm also doing Java at the same time. And I just like Java, like, I don't like Java, Java, Java actually sucks, but like, I like Python, and I know they're kind of similar, so. Like the I, the way that the language is like what the languages are used for. So, um, I I mean I like I think I'm gonna I think I kind of like backend more than I thought I would. Um, and like I don't know how much I care about like design and computer science. Like it's a cool I like art, but like in fashion. But I don't really think I want to do it for like a career. So yeah, I just like coding a lot. So I think I want to do like backend software development. Not to mention. They're like the highest paid okay. at college. So. Priorities. Yeah, so my craft is done. So the project is done. Uh, the step and repeat is right here. It's gonna throw off all of our white balance, but you can see it right quick. So it's just like a nice wall with the print on it and we can do doll photography in front of it. What I would do is just lay down a piece of felt in front of it or a piece of paper. I like to do a green carpet. I know you can do a red carpet, but I do a green carpet. And I already used all my green felt for the one back there. So if you look in the back, you can see we have a seven repeat with the green carpet and Summer is like chilling over there. So what is your dream job? Uh, don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Let's, I'm just gonna move on, you know, don't bite the hand. Find your do. job. <laughs> I want to go to, I need to, get, need to get in Georgia Tech, right? Get in Georgia Tech and then, um, you know, like work at Google. I mean, like Facebook is cool, but I've heard amazing things about Google. Yeah, I'm a Fang. I'm one of those people. I want to go to Fang. I want to like, you know, work at Apple. Like I wouldn't want to work at Apple, even though though. I look up, I watch a lot of these like, oh, day in the life of Google software engineer videos and like day in the life of Facebook software engineer videos. I watch a lot of those and there's none for Apple. So that's sus for me. I can't do my research. I can't plan my future. Apple, what are you hiding? Mm -hmm. um, can you, you make, know, they have like a bomb campus. So that's like all I really need to be honest. Can you make a mini farmhouse? Yes, we can do the interior 
and one and then we could do an exterior and another if that's what you're looking for but i'm mainly an interior kind of person so that sounds like a lot of fun um a shout out to asia what's up and so I'm saying, would you ever be a doctor no would you ever be a doctor no too much responsibility i think that i really like the idea of doctors but i don't want to be one but i totally vibe with it you know like i totally vibe with it i think i like anything that's like Perf like like requires a lot of studying to do, you know, and like sciencey STEM wise. So like aerospace engineering and like engineering and like pure science and medicine, like all that I think is like super super cool. Um, yeah, but I could never be a doctor. I cannot do blood. So do you have an idea what the new live action Monster High movie could be about? So I did read something about no the live action movie. No, I have no idea. I read something about Wait, what. Monster High. Oh. So I read something about Monster High t uh, centering around Claudine. And that's all I remember. I read something, but I can't remember what it was about. So I said, do you have a teacher or class that has made a positive impression on you? And that gets to the school questions. I love talking about school. I, I don't, don't know why, but it's like so the number much. one thing I do. So, so technical. What? Nothing. Love you. A class. <laughs> no, you're just like, computer, computer, words, words, computer, computer. Whatever. Well, I was trying to study yesterday <laughs> or the day before yesterday or something. And I was going over my computer science notes because I'm learning iteration right now, and iteration is so hard. Um, yeah, it's so hard, and it's like one of the most important concepts in computer science. I'm just learning the basics right now. The crazy thing is about this stuff is like you you first get introduced to it, and you're like, it's certain primitive types. Primitive type, types is super easy, but like second unit was second unit was objects, and that was like I was like, <laughs> what is this? This is so difficult to understand. And then I got to third unit, and I was like. Last unit was nothing. Like, nothing. Um, but yeah, objects are, whatever, objects are fun. I still don't really understand them, so you have to do. That's all I'm hearing. But yeah, I'm doing iteration now. And yesterday, I was trying to, like, explain, like, variables. Because I was going over my stuff. And I she was, tries like, to teach me this stuff, and it's literally, like... Yeah, and I was like, Mom, so while a condition is, like, what is a while, a while loop? Oh, a while loop is while this one condition is true, the, the code inside the brackets will run. And then she was like, I was like, Mom, what type of data type it, like sets up conditions? And she was like, had no idea. It's a Boolean. Because you know what? All it's of my Boolean. brain, all of my brain has been redirected towards doll crafts. You want to talk about dolls? I can talk all day. You want to talk about anything else? <laughs> I am no good to you. No, because I said it like three times. You didn't understand. A Boolean, true, false, integer, number, Ooh. double, decimal. Womp, 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 Char. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> Character, string, <laughs> sentence. Come on. Okay, bro. have you finished watching Cruella? No, and I cannot guarantee that I will ever finish watching it. I just, I could not keep my attention span there. Um, any more questions here? Can you make a Grammy award? I, 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 we can try. You know who deserves a Grammy? What? The All American Rejects. Okay, so I just use like a doll award for my award ceremony because, you know, running fast and having to stop and craft things takes up a lot of time. So I just use like a Barbie award for our video. Can you make a hidden doll bank? Uh, sure. <gasps> like Gringotts? Because that sounds like fun. But I probably can't make the little troll people. No, they were, weren't trolls. Goblins? Yeah, they were yeah, goblins. Yeah, that class that made an impression on me. Definitely not computer science. Definitely not. Um, I love the, I love coding though, so I would do it in any capacity. But um, I had this teacher, my environmental science, my AP environmental science. Yeah, has to throw AP in there. Can't let you think of taking a level, anyways. Um, <laughs> my AP computer science teacher, uh, and I. So I was in this program where I was taking like one semester was honors, and then the other semester was AP. And so that teacher, it was all year long classes, and that teacher was the best teacher I've ever had, and I absolutely loved her. And she taught, and I didn't realize. And AP classes, they don't usually teach. <laughs> so I got super, like, uh, spoiled in that class because she would, like, teach and go over things. And we watched a ton of movies. And it would just be, it was, it was amazing. It was biology and environmental science. We did a lot of experiments. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. And um, I guess chemistry was sucked because chemistry was really hard to learn online with no labs. Um, yeah, and then I didn't take AP Physics, which I'm so glad I didn't because my friends in AP Physics right now are not having a good time. Okay. <laughs> uh, Toya, when, when are you retiring and creating preferred content? <laughs> preferred content? Okay, oh, that I, spelled 
No, because I told everybody that when I retire, that felt like a diss. No, it isn't. Like Preferred it. content, as in the like my preference. Yeah, yeah. I'm I know what they mean. I'm joking. Yeah. So when I retire, I'm gonna make the videos and like all the crafts that I just want to do whenever I want to do them, and that's my idea of retirement. Um, I don't know, man. YouTube keeps changing things and pushing my date back. Not that YouTube is pushing my date back, but circumstances on YouTube keeps changing things. So we'll have to see. I might be working for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to Google get some health insurance. <laughs> like, uh, can you make more plants? Yes, I love making paper plants. I just can never pronounce their names. So I will do the best that I can. Do not come for me when I say them wrong. Because if you're a Marvel character, I'm not even lying, most of my interest in Marvel is just because I didn't have a massive crush on all the characters. So it was Captain America, but now he's gone. Not to mention, I didn't like the beard, so I was like not really on that train for a while. And it's been Loki for a solid minute, and then... I'm sorry, I'm reading the comments, and they're like, Bella's stories are entertaining, but I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> what? I know. <laughs> Talking about computer science? Except it's not, it's not hard, actually. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, um, the thing is, though, you guys have heard this for the first time. I've been explaining this to her since the beginning of the semester, because I need, like, a buddy, to part of this, a buddy to study with. I have a Discord, but we never talk about I science. cannot help you study computer science. If you give me a note card and I just got to draw your note cards, I'm here for it. I can do no, that. No, but it's all application. But if you're trying to actually like, teach me computer science... We were doing in iterations, right? And you're making uh, for for loops, when you're making conditions for the for loop, you have to do this thing called a constant variable or counter variable. And it's so weird because in algebra two we use i in algebra two. If you take a square root, so if you take the square root of a negative number, the like negative sixteen, the square root of negative sixteen is is four i. You know that? That's crazy. That's amazing. You know yeah. you can't use a pin in outer space. Yeah, that's also crazy. Um, but can you <laughs> make a sword? Yes, we have made a sword. There's a video out there right now. If you'd like us to make a new sword, we can totally try. I don't know how that's going to work with new policies. I'll have to double check. But we do a video for a sword when we did our, I want to say custom Emma Swan. We did a sword. Yeah, I think that's out there. Yeah, so you take a screw of a negative number and it's like something I. Anyways, so I is a natural number. So in coding, the, what I've noticed <laughs> is you, when you do I, you put in, um, you put in like, I encoding is like, oh, this number can be changed because it's not real. You know, which is super weird how mad I think computer science are so linked up. Like, of course they take a billion calculus classes. It makes total sense. Yeah. Anyways, um, uh, can you do a, what is a Chris sword? I don't what? even know. It's probably from a video game or something. Yeah, I have to Google that because I don't even know what that is. Uh, but yeah, so basically the condition you do like I equals one and then like I is like, so I equals one and then it's like I is greater than or less than like something else and then like some other weird condition and it's super weird you, you have to have these three things they're separated by semicolons and it's, it's so weird i don't understand it at all and i haven't been studying all week because i've been reading a push but yeah you're so funny awesome vids toya can you make planet earth in doll scale oh yeah that's like super easy <laughs> let me yeah. just like form the universe real fast um bella do you still have your horse johnny so johnny actually was uh rehomed February of last year? Yeah. Yeah, so um, it just, you know, he needed more attention than what we could give him. And so we found him a new home. Plus, our barn was kind of like closing down. Yeah. So we had to make some decisions fairly quickly. Not our show barn, but um, the, our riding barn. Like, this is like where we held, held him. Yeah, it was like boarding. Him, yeah. And we actually took him to our show barn to try to get him to learn saddle seat, but he, Johnny wasn't having it. Yeah, I was the only person who could ride him. She was the only person who could ride him. We tried to put him into a lesson program, and he was scared of everything in hey, the Hey, so what's Bella's stories are always cool about, or, oh, oh, they didn't say cool. They said about school and math and grades. Whatever. Yeah, I like that, that stuff. I actually like, like, uh, knowing things, but I don't like school. I don't like grades. It's too much pressure. But I like knowing things. But Johnny has been rehomed, and he's very, very happy with his new owner. Uh, the new owner, I believe, wanted a, a just like a play play horse, and which is That's perfect Johnny. for Johnny because he didn't want to actually learn anything. So yeah, 
Can you make a Barbie Walmart? Uh, we'll put that on the list. Yeah, definitely. I really, I'm excited about the Target just because I feel like Target's kind of, not really iconic. I guess Walmart's iconic too. But I feel like Target with that bright red, I, I can do something with that. Someone said, um, are you willing to study abroad and where the technology is much more advanced? The technology is much more advanced there, isn't it? They actually have like, in their airports, they have these robots. They, like these robe like hand, like they just follow you around and they're cute. Like like here like, Amazon came out their like Alexa thing, like their Alexa robot thing. And it's like this weird looking like, iPad with the face. Gotcha. Like, come on, Amazon. Catch up. Japan's out here with like like have, like you know sushi restaurants that have the conveyor belt? Yeah. Like that seems like so much so far much farther ahead than all of American restaurants. So what are the new YouTube policies? Well they're not really new, I guess well they're <laughs> I don't know. Um, They're you have constantly to, changing. You just you have to go read them all, and then try to understand it, and then read them again, <laughs> <laughs> and then giggle it, and then read it again. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Ellie? How you doing? Can you make another amusement park ride? I can try. Like the problem with my amusement park rides is that I have nowhere to store them, and after I make them in the video and. I, when I put them, so I broke my roller coaster already. It broke because I put it on the top shelf and I was moving things around and then it fell and then I just sat there and cried a little and got kept going. I think I left it there on the floor, but you know, the music park rides are so huge. They just take up so much space. So we'll have to figure something out. Someone said, why do you like computer science? Why'd you ask that? Have you seen the movie, The Social Network? <laughs> The movie The Social Network is about Mark Zuckerberg and him creating Facebook at Harvard. And I mean, that's not why I wanted to be computer, like, am into computer science. I think I just like, like it and I like doing it. It makes me feel super smart and like, I can, it's like, it's like you can do whatever you want. You know, like you can literally do and create whatever you want online with, yeah. with, with coding. But, which is amazing, right? It's just like drawing in that respect. But The Social Network totally was like, oh my gosh, this stuff is crazy. Like the like the power that you can get from that. What's up, Christina? Probably not very good motivation, but you know. <laughs> and then I What's also up, Isabella? my friends. Uh, I have a friend who really likes computer science, and she was talking about it a lot, and I thought it was super cool. Like, I thought I got introduced to it through her, and also like through Roblox. I thought it was pretty cool, and I yeah. So you know. So I see your questions out there, and there are some things that are tricky to do because of policies. So and that's, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna be very vague in general right now because you know, you got to be sometimes. And um, if there's something that you would love to see that I'm not doing, there is most likely a reason. Yeah, okay. Now, next question, shout out to TJ, what's up? When is the next Summer in Cali? Summer in Cali is coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time. It is premiering. I have not finished filming it yet. So I'm saying all that, assuming I'm going to get it done. And over the weekend on Instagram, we're going to do like a doll event where you can post pictures. If your account is public, we'll see it. Where you can post pictures using hashtag my froggy stuff gala, gala, gala. Yeah, where you can post pictures using hashtag my froggy stuff gala and we for an opportunity to be shown on our Insta story. So what I'll do is I'll just share it on my Insta story if I see it. And that's why we made the step and repeat today so that your dolls can get all fancy and take part in the Summer in Cali Gala that is going on in the show premiering on Saturday as well. And we're going to do that said, all weekend. Someone said, um, someone said, what did they say? I just saw it. If you can invent something, what would you invent? Uh, if I could, uh, a whole nother, a streaming service that pays creators with a lot less rules. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't pointed at all. I would have been, okay, so you know the metaverse, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it's like a cool idea, but I don't think it'll work right now. But you have you seen the movie Ready Player One? Yes. Yeah. Well, they do put on massive headsets for that, but you know- They put on full body suits. Yeah, they do. But have you seen, um, like, okay, so in Black Mirror, right, they have these, this, the few episodes where they basically put on these, they have these things in their temples, and they go into this weird, like, induced state, and they, like, basically, like, like, go into a video game, and they're living through a video game, you know, by these things on their heads, you know? Yeah. And they're literally, literally in chairs, and they're just, like, all, like, zoned out and crap, right? Well, I would totally want to do that. 
I would make, I would want to make that. I think that would be like a ton of work though, and you would like, that's way more than computer science. You need to do like biomedical nervous system stuff with that. But yeah, I would want to make a device where you could like basically put it in you to where you can become like a supercomputer. Gotcha. That seems really dangerous, but I'm not. I'm not going to be the first to I sign up. I kind of feel like that's the like kind of low key the future of technology. It's kind of like Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, like turning humans into like you know like you know you have a phone, but instead of like having to hold it, you can kind of just see the information. Have you seen Ghost in the Shell? No, but I don't really care. So what happens is I don't know. when they implant that lovely little ch chip, uh -huh. so you can talk on the phone without holding a phone, you get hacked. And then you can't see the bad guys. It's just a big smile okay, emoji. Well, obviously there are some problems. I mean, actually, there's a Black Mirror episode where there's these things where your eyes record everything, um, and you get and it gets sore in this thing in the back of your head. And some people are getting them ripped out. Like some people were getting them ripped out of them. Yeah, so obviously so, there's gonna be some so issues. You yeah, know? yeah. But you know, like you create new laws for that. <laughs> you know. Uh, Tori, where'd you get your shirt from? Target, like forever ago. I believe it's actually a pajama shirt. But, you know, a lot of times the pajama shirts are softer and this is like, it feels like a sweatshirt, but it's not. It's like really thin and super comfy. And so I love this. Uh, can you do a roller, how would a roller coaster or a music park in a hidden doll room work? I do not know, but I think since I already broke my roller coaster, that would be the best thing to attempt. I don't know if that's like video level. I don't know, maybe it is. But I can try to take parts of the roller coaster and put it in a hidden doll room, kind of, and salvage what's left. That sounds like somewhat doable. And you won't get like full rides, but you'll get like enough for a photo. I don't know. What does that sound? That sound? Yeah. That sounds so probably doable. So it's college vlogs? 100,000%. I'm totally going to get to college. I'm totally going to get college vlogs. Now, will my social anxiety get in the way of filming in public? We'll have to wait and see for that one. But I, I sh it shouldn't. I'm working on the social thing right now. So hopefully by then, exposure therapy would have cured me. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, have you always loved dolls? I have. I've always loved dolls. I was the kid who was playing with them under the bed in middle school and in high school and not telling anyone I was back then. Now I'm like full force. This is me, accept it. But yeah, I was totally hiding dolls in my room in middle school and high school. Yep. So uh, what state do you wanna live in? Honestly, I wanna, I wanna move to New York. I wanna move to New York. I wanna get my Google internship and move to New York for like six months, not six months, six weeks. I think it's like three or six weeks sometimes the internships are. Um, yeah, with like a bunch of friends. I want to go with a bunch of friends. We all room together and like in New York We're all doing our internships and stuff like that um, I, I, That's like the that's like my goal for like obviously it's not like a permanent situation Yeah, but then if I get a job at Apple, I gotta move to like California or China one of those I'm down for both to be honest with you. So Here's a challenge try to make a hidden doll room to the smallest scale you can. Oh boy. That sounds intriguing. It'd be like a hidden doll room for a doll, right? Like, I don't know if I would try to go like calico critter size where there wouldn't be that big because my camera probably wouldn't even pick it up. My gigantor human hands would be in the way. Even if I try to use tweezers, I think it'll just be too huge. But maybe, I like the idea. We can do something with that. I like that idea. Um, if you could be something other than a YouTube creator, what would it be? Like right now, what am I possibly actually, qualified no, to that, do? <laughs> I, I, always, I keep telling her that she should have gone to college for engineering. You actually would have so liked it. And I would have gotten legacy admission to Georgia Tech. So well, if I could go back in time, is what you're saying? Yeah, I if did you go back in time with the knowledge that you know now, what would you do? I would have definitely gone into computers, 100%. Like, like computers or engineering? Uh, I would have probably gone so Computer engineering? I don't know. I would have gone to Georgia Tech. I got accepted there. I would have gone to Georgia Tech and did something computer based. Computer based or engineering based? I don't know. Because I mean, like, do you think right you would have liked computer engineering or computer science, or do you think you would have liked like more like hands on? I like like three D modeling sort of stuff. No, I, I liked I like coding. coding. Yeah, because co it makes sense. It's like math. Yeah, it's like but these I are mean, the like, rules. You like using your hands though, and I feel like engineers, like aerospace engineers, I feel like these are hands. If, they, you, they make like robots and stuff. If I could go back and do or know what I know now, I would not do a job that is close to my hobby. 
Yeah. I would keep my hobby my hobby and if keep I my learned job anything, my child, that is don't follow your passion. But that's just me. Everyone's gonna have a different route. So yeah. don't just because I'm saying that I'm not trying to influence anyone, but me personally, if I go back in time, I would have a job that's not my hobby. But I do feel like like this is I kinda of feel like this is a universal thing where like if you love something, you know, like musicians, right? They love music and it's like the thing that they feel like they were born to do and then they go and do it. Well, when you pursue a job that like is you and it's the thing that you think that you were born to do and it's like, you know, like your passion and the more like artistic, like I was born for this sense, I feel like when you pursue that thing, it takes over your life. Well, not Every just that. It's like, okay, I absolutely love crafting. I love dolls. I love making things. It's just... When you love some, well, for me, I'm talking for me, my personal experience and my opinion. When I love something, um, I don't really want it judged. I want to enjoy it for what it is, and I don't want, I don't want people telling me how I did it wrong. If anything, you don't want to like when you, whenever you do a YouTube with anything. Like I would think, whenever you turn your art into a job, it becomes less about your art and more about what people want to see from you. So like you, Kinda, you yeah. have to you have to compromise your own like vision for like views. You have to. So, so especially yeah, it's a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'm telling y'all, we would literally be doing nothing but Star Trek right now. Someone said, um, "What's your favorite school subject in school or dream job? Dream job is Google, 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 Google. If you know anybody that can get me a, ref a referral in like in like five years, then like call them. Um, not five years." Uh, like three years, two years actually, yeah, like call them. And um, favorite subject in school? I mean, I just like what I'm good at. So, but I don't like history anymore. It's so boring. I was trying. I was like stabbing my hands in a bush today, trying to stay awake. It was. I was like, I can't fall asleep. Like it was awful. And I lang is all right, but I hate writing essays. I just hate it. Someone says make the room. I think that's Josh. Was that Josh? Says make it Polly Pocket size. So you want me to make a Polly Pocket room? Polly Pocket already has like a billion and a half rooms in little tiny lockets. But yeah, why not? We can totally try that. Let's try it. But yeah, and see what happens. Subject, I think I really liked Algebra 2 because I was just really good at it and it was my lowest grade though, but it was I was really good at it. I do you really like science, but it depends on the science teacher. Science, like when you get cool science teachers, science is like way more fun. I loved biology. I loved biology. I loved it. Physics, it, physics is all right. Do a giant Barbie house like human scale out of paperboard? How? How? Hmm. I don't know. I, let me look into that. I, Someone said, have you tried to make a video game or an app? Um, we have no. a Roblox game. You have to learn like React. That. Well, we do have a Roblox game which still requires a lot of coding. Yeah. We've got the coins going in Miniverse 2 and now we're trying to create something or they're trying to create something that allows you to spin the coins. But I was like, yeah, let's do pets. And then I realized how much work is involved in actually getting pets. So yeah, it's going to take a little while. You have to make the crazy thing about stores in any game is that you think that, oh, like I'll just make people, I'll, you think like, oh, I'm just going to make it so that people can buy this thing. Like that's what you think you're doing. But that's not what you're doing. You have to create the ability to store objects within each character so that a person can buy something and then they can store that thing into their inventory. So you have to make that like in like the back end sense, you have to make that work. And then on top of that, you have to create the interface for that so the person can see the object that they, that they have like gotten or the, see the object that they bought. And then you have to make it so that the person can like pick the different outfits or pick the different objects that they bought um, previously and you have to make it so that the computer like stores it and like literally like the best analogy or not analogy but the best thing I've heard about computer science is like you have to remember that computers are dumb so you have to literally like you have to hold their hand along every single step of the way when like wanting them to do something so yeah it's a huge huge thing but we, the, I think we have to remember that we only have to do it once we only have to do the inventory thing once, and we have to create it once, and then after that, like, we can, like, adding more things to buy will be easier. Yeah. But yeah. With that being said, I logged into Roblox and start playing during Bella's speech. Um, so there is Miniverse 2, and I'm going to quickly go through the top three on the leaderboard, because I kind of missed that last week. 
So number one is It's Awesome Blossom. I think you've been there for a minute. Number two, Amanda J Panda 101. And number three, My Froggy Stuff Plays. I got back in the top three, so it is a work in progress. And I've been trying to get Noah, you know, or Bella, whoever, to add more coins around the map that are outside of town. So real soon, you might find some special high coins at the campsite. You hear me, Noah? Real soon, right? Okay. <laughs> Someone said, um, favorite thing during the weekends. On the weekends, I just, I just study the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And season sorry came with new Netflix special and I watched that like twice. Weekends are, don't aren't any different than weekdays. Yeah. Every day is a work day, pretty much. Uh, will you show your son? So Noah doesn't want to be on camera, and I respect that. If he ever wants to be on camera, he's more than welcome. He's been in a couple lives before in the past, but he just doesn't like it. So I don't, you know, I respect that. I don't make him. And I think the other cool thing about computer science, or the other thing that like I think that really makes me like it a lot, maybe even more than drawing. I love drawing. I do love drawing. I like creating like pretty things, like making pretty things, you know. But for some reason, I like fashion. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if I would like dedicate my life to it, but I do love it. You know? But computer science, when you like make a program, you're making this thing, you're making it, and you're spending hours on it. I spent like a week on this assignment. A week. It was awful. I couldn't get to work. I was on Stack Overflow for hours. I was on Discord for hours, just trying to figure it out. It was awful. And then you're running it, it doesn't work, you're running it, it doesn't work, and you're running it, it doesn't work, and then you change one thing, you add, you take away one parenthesis, or you misplace one parenthesis, and then you click run again, and then it runs. And you're like, dopamine kick. Instantly! You're like, euphoric. It's like, insane. It's like, literally like, like, the craziest feeling ever. Uh, okay, can you do some Lord of the Ring crafts? Uh, let me get back to you on that. I have a whole <laughs> feeling Beach about that. Mountains, um, um, I like, I like telling people that I hike. I don't. What, what did someone say? Beach or mountains. Oh. I think I like the beach more because they're chill, but I do like hiking. I don't like sand. I like the look of oh sand, my gosh. but I don't like touching it. I got sand like up my shorts once in California and like. See, I was trying to be more the worst tactful about it. I, I was trying life. to be tactful, but <laughs> here she goes. Okay, um, it says you got a smart doll. Oh my goodness, congrats! Good, good deal on eBay. That's awesome. And you have our Roblox merch. This is falling for dolls. Thank you so much. But you do know that in the game there are three free shirts that you can just click on and wear in the game, and uh, that way you can walk around yeah, with can my froggy self too. It will do it for you. When we show your I husband, I did that by the way. I did that. That was me. Will we show your husband? Yeah, he doesn't want to be on camera. The guys in the house like being behind the scenes. So that's mission. Like they're not like camera people. Like they get weird in front of cameras. <laughs> My husband is like so charismatic and so like gargantuous and everything. No, what the word? Gargarious. 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 Okay. Gargarious. Gargarious. This is what I get for trying these big words. Okay, my husband's like really, really lively. There you go. But on camera, he just gets like. Hi. He's like robotic. He's like, uh, I am here. Uh, I am. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, relax. What are you doing? <laughs> can Bowie come in for his bit so I can say hi? No. Bowie, no. Bowie, please. No. No. For a second, please. Our white balance has been great. But, what, but all what people want to see him. Get the people they want. That was one person. Yeah, that, every, if you guys start commenting <laughs> Bowie more, no, 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 no. Start I'm good. Because Bowie. Bowie has been. A little nightmare Don't all day today. Her. Comment Bowie. All day. Can Comment. we? Can I get a break from Bowie? No, because you, you go to school. I'll go ahead and take I'm it here off. with him all day, and he barks at everything. Everything. No, don't. I don't want. I don't want him here. I don't want him here. <laughs> is it weird seeing yourself on video? Yes. The worst thing is hearing myself. I do not enjoy hearing my own voice. Yeah, me neither. That's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Um. You love our crafts. Oh, thank you so much, Amelia. Can you do Minecraft miniatures one day? We did a whole Minecraft doll room. That is out there. That video is out there. As for more Minecraft stuff, I have to go back and look. I mean, has Minecraft changed a lot or is it still like uh, But the Minecraft Java edition came out. I keep seeing ads for that. I think, is it a PC thing? Tell me, because I haven't played Minecraft in a while. I watch a lot of Minecraft videos though. Like a unhealthy amount. Gotcha. Can you resize the modern tiny house you made for Dawn from LOL Surprise and make it more detailed? 
Um, what house was that? You mean Don? What? I don't know what house. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what house that is. I have to go back and double check because I don't even remember smells weird. what house that is. This is like peppercorn. Like I, peppercorn it was wearing perfume. I don't know, good. man. It's, Bowie is. Mm, I'm good. Can when we get Bowie? No. Bowie? When do Summer and Kelly episodes come out? Usually the last Saturday oh, of the do. month. We love the fit, Bella. How long have you been married? I have been married for like two decades, right? I don't know. No, almost. I don't keep track. Almost. We're, we're, we're getting there. Uh, shout out to Dreaming Dolls. Oh, what's up? What's your favorite place in your house? My room. I love my room. And it's just like my quiet space and I can just zone out. Everything's super fluffy. And I just like chill there. Right now I'm rerouting Mini Toya's head because I changed her head. It's the same mold. It's just got a slightly different face, you know, screening. And um, that's what I'm doing right now in my room. Oh, ho, ho. have you ever, I don't know what that means. And it looks like another language and I'm going to destroy it. Please make more mini food. Okay, yes, I guess we haven't done any food since we did our last hot glue crafts video, but yeah, we can totally do that. The tiny house with a pool and the swing. <sighs> Why can't I remember what this is? Hmm. You want me to resize that for like Barbie? Is that what you're asking? Cause I will go look. I will go look. Do you remember the name of that video? I'm usually pretty good at remembering my videos, but for some reason it's just, it's just not clicking. Um, I made a kitchen and a living room. Oh, that's awesome, Pearl, good job. Can you do a smart doll room? So we do have a video for a smart doll room. If you're looking for a new smart doll room, we can see what we do about that. Right now my smart dolls are all on the top shelf and they're just chilling. I finally got them on display, which is better than they were before. But um, as for a smart doll room, we have to come up with something for that. Like maybe very little 3D elements, just because they're so big. We need them to be able to store easily. Otherwise, I already have a storage problem, so we'll have to figure that out. Just sit down, okay? Um, it's in your LOL playlist. Okay, I will go and look. I will go and look. Can you make a Barbie house video? I believe we have a Barbie house video. We remade the 1962 Barbie dream house. We've done that and we've also, done extreme makeover barbie house edition we've got a couple of those no 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 this is why <laughs> this is why this is why he needs boundaries you have to be firm otherwise he will literally walk all over you why don't you just pet him for a second because i've had him all day and we've been we've been going back and forth okay he's a little more bully huh? he he's stole my dog clothes oh no what are you doing to his head <laughs> No, he's not good. Boy, is terrible. I'm just joking. You're not terrible, but you're not pleasant either. <laughs> um, doll pencil case that is already on the list. What's up, Zar? Yet? Okay, I've got to say this. Zare, Rian, Zarian, Zarian. What's up? What is the hardest episode of Summer Cali? The hardest episode of Summer and Callie. I don't know, it's the ones that just, um, I don't, what's the most difficult? I don't know, they're all kind of roughly on the same. This one's a little bit more tedious than normal, only because I didn't write a script, so I'm a little unprepared, and I kind of have to just, I'm just kind of like winging it, which means it might be a little longer than normal, because when I'm off script, I tend to make my lines longer. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Uh, why is this happening? Yeah, so I don't know. Going do a summer Cali off script is a little more difficult, which is what I'm doing right now, because I didn't have time to write a script. Okay, what happens if you feed a smart doll after midnight? Have you tried it? I have not. There are warnings. There are lots of warnings that say don't do it. So you know, a bad habit of following the rules and all. Okay, who annoys you more, Bella or Bowie? <laughs> Well, I'm kind of stuck with Bella, but Bowie is expendable. Bowie. I'm just joking. Bowie, come. 
No, they're, they're both up. great. It's just, you know, I've been with Bowie all What's day. Because she goes to school. So she doesn't have to deal with them all day. When they, when they get home from school, they can, like, tend to Bowie. But they don't. They never take him out. They never clean up after him. They barely brush him. I brush him. I do his nails. I do his teeth. I wash him. I wash him. I you washed him teeth. like what? When was the last time you washed him? I don't know. Last time he was washed. It's the last time I washed him. Ugh, no. I wash him. I brush him. She asks if she does everything she does. I do. Like, you didn't no. even put his bowl, bowl up last night. I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You did not. I, Dad will confirm this. You did not put his bowl up last night. See what I mean? They don't They don't. I help. wash his hair all the time. You don't help. Yeah, I do. I brush his hair all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we are at six. We're at six o'clock. That is my alarm, so it is definitely time for shout outs. Okay, we want to give a shout out to Benta. What's up? Uh, shout out to Have you found the mini, the Disney mini brands? No, I literally saw it in the little pamphlet, but I haven't seen them in stores. What I did see was a post that said the Disney mini brands will be exclusive to Target. I read that. I want to say it was Toy Insider. I want to say, don't quote me, but I know they're coming and I saw that they might be at Target. All right. Shout out to... I don't think he likes the lights. Kiera. Probably. What's up? Shout out to Is Hannah. He? What's up? You go again. Izzy, what's up? Hannah, what's up? Princess Cocoa, Cocoa Butter, what's up? Liliac, what's up? Polly's Craft World, what's up? Atlanta 10, what's up? Uh, Barbara Roberts, what's up? Samara, what's up? Riverlane, what's up? Uh, MB Photos 09B, what's up? Violet is falling, what's up? Uh, uh, uh. Annabelle W. What's up? College Craft World. What's up? Shout out to River Lane. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Shout Emily, out. what's up? A uh, German Shepherd. Will you ever make Disney? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, man. Shout out to uh, Quaik. What's up? Bessie B. What's up? Uh, my jams. What's up? Uh, Burt Pickle. What's up? Amelia. What's up? You're one. You're two. What's up? Really? That's the name? Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, na, 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 the Kenneth Premack. What's up? Can you make a dollhouse from a three shelf bookcase? No, you cannot do this. I don't have a three shelf bookcase but yes doll houses out of three shelf bookcases are totally doable you literally just go ahead and use each shelf as a like a doll room and you go on up and and just decorate them that's totally doable uh two more v vanessa mccready what's up pretty princess productions what's up and oh and any more lps lover one two one what's up oh shout out to sophia Sunny and Oliver, what's up? Did you tell me you put a limit on me already? Yeah, I said two more. It's Rainbow Sparkle, what's up? That's such a fun name to say. And uh, are we good on these? Do I have one more? Yeah. One more, one more? Mm -hmm. um, Jada Lifestyle, what's, what's up? up? Thank you so much uh, for joining us this week on YouTube Live with Toya, Bella, and Bowie. Bowie. While we made a step and repeat, for the My Froggy Stuff Gala that you will see in, or Gala, 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 that you will see in the new episode of Summer and Cali premiering tomorrow at 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time on YouTube at My Froggy Stuff. If you are on Instagram and your account is public, feel free to partake in the My Froggy Stuff Hashtag my froggy stuff gala and post a pic of your doll in front of the step and repeat. If you didn't want to print it, you can always, you know, Photoshop it and do a digital photo. And if you use the hashtag, hopefully I will see it and I will post it on my Insta story all weekend log. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see all of you next time.